Hi learners! Today, we will be learning about the levels of biological organization. But before that, let us define first biology. Biology is a branch of science which deals with the study of life of all the organisms on Earth. Biology was came from the Greek words bios means life and logos which means study. All living things exhibit complex hierarchy organization. This is range in descending order from the lowest to the highest level of biological organization. That includes cells, tissue, organ, organ system, organism, population, community, ecosystem, and biosphere. One concrete example of a living thing is you. You are composed of many parts and each part has an essential and specific function. Every part is interrelated and necessary to your continuous existence on this planet. It is a guide by the rule, all for one, one for all, because these parts of your body will not work alone. Instead, all parts work as a whole. One part will not be able to work properly if another part is missing. Since life is a broad topic, scientists break it down into several different level organization to make it easier to study. These levels start with the smallest unit of life and work up to the largest and most broad category. Let's start with the cells. Cell is the smallest unit of life. There are two types of cell. Plant cells have cell walls, constructed outside the cell membrane and composed of cellulose molecules. Animal cells are typical of the eukaryotic cell, enclosed by a plasma membrane and containing a membrane-bound nucleus and organelles. Tissue is a group of cells performing similar functions. There are four types of tissue, epithelial tissue, connective tissue, muscle tissue, and nervous tissue. Histologist is an example of biologists that work at this level. An organ is a group of tissue performing similar function. It is a system of tissue that work in a large scale to do certain job with an animal's body. Example of organs are brain, heart, and lungs. Anatomy is an example of biological field Concerning with this level, an organ is a system of group of organs performing similar functions. They work together to work specific bodily functions. The respiratory, for example, uses the lungs, airways, and respiratory muscles to inhale oxygen and release carbon dioxide in animals. Physiologists study the function of the parts of the body as they work together. Organism is an individual living thing that has an organized structure. Organisms can be unicellular organisms such as bacteria or amoebae. Multicellular organisms comprised of organs and organ system. A human being is an example of a multicellular organism. Population is a group of organisms of one type that live in the same area. For example, a pride of lions in Kenya and Africa is a population. Community is a population that live together in a defined area. A community is consists of all different species within a certain area. The population of lion in Kenya plus population of giraffe, elephants, and all other species in that area add up to the community. An ecosystem is composed of community and its non-living surroundings and physical components of the environment. Water, rocks, and dirt are parts of the ecosystem. Ecologists may study the populations, communities, or whole ecosystem. Lastly, we have the biosphere. It is the part of the earth that contains all ecosystems. Every animal, plants, bacteria, rocks, and molecule is part of the earth and its biosphere. Non-biologists such as meteorologists and geologists may join biologists to answer questions at this level of biological organization.
To summarize, biology is the branch of science which deals with the study of life of all the organisms on Earth. The biological levels of organization arranged in ascending order or from the lowest to the highest level include cells, tissues, organs, organ systems, organism, population, community, ecosystem, and biosphere. That's all for now. We will be discussing about cells in our next video lesson. So I'll see you in our next video lesson. Bye!